real slow mover. Honey, I got a flash right back for you. She's in there with the champ. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name's Afro. If you're new here, I make regular reaction content to a lot of TV shows and some movies. Uh, really excited for today's episode as it is December. This will be my kind of one Christmas themed uh, reaction for the month because I do have a normal day job and I don't have a whole lot of time to record stuff. So uh, really excited, though, to get into White Christmas. I have never seen this movie. I obviously know the kind of what it's about, the story and everything. I, I know that there's a musical behind it. And it's weird that I've never seen this before because I am a huge musical fan. Uh, not only do I enjoy watching them both, you know, on the movie screen and in person in a theater, but I also love to perform and act and sing and dance. And you can't really tell right now, but if I kind of move my camera up, you can see that uh, I do have some posters from some of the shows I've been in. Uh, so yeah, I, I do love to perform and sing. And so uh, uh, interestingly enough, both of my parents used to perform opera. So I have a little bit of experience in that uh, realm. So uh, really, really interested to see this movie. Uh, my girlfriend actually, it's kind of like a, a tradition for her every year to watch this movie, but uh, I have yet to see it, even though we've been dating for a while. So I'm surprised that she hasn't forced me to watch it yet. So you guys get to enjoy my reactions first before she does. Um, and other than that, if you are new to the channel, I would love it for a little Christmas present to me if you would hit that subscribe button. Uh, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, I think that'd be really cool to hit. And uh, if you enjoy the video even more, you can also hit that like button and kind of help spread the video to everyone else. The more likes, the more the YouTube algorithm or something likes the or puts the video out to people. So uh, every little bit helps. So I appreciate everything. Um, so if you're a new subscriber or old, thank you for watching. Let's jump into it. Let's get into White Christmas. Ah, the olden days when uh, the credits would be at the beginning of the movie and not at the end. I do love this uh, big bandy music, so it's kind of just cool to just chill and listen to it while the credits roll. Already starting on Christmas Eve, huh? Okay. Oh, got some tap dancing, got a little few time steps there and stuff. Uh, I can do that. Oh, this looks like a USO show or something. They should be lined up for full inspection. You're absolutely right. There's no Christmas in the army, Captain. Yes, sir. Well, that's kind of depressing. And I know that, but uh, the general doesn't know it. At least he won't for about an hour and a half. That sergeant will be a private in the morning. Yeah, I had a feeling the shortcut was not really a shortcut, but he was doing that to give his men time to enjoy the show. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Roll credits. In the snow. Very interesting, the uh, war battle noises in the background over such a somber song. We owe an awful lot to General Waverly. And to the way... <laughs> Oh, uh, why? Why did he stop? That was kind of, that was, that was uh, very touching. Almost made me tear up a bit. I sat at ease. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, he's so green, he doesn't know the difference between attention and at ease. Don't just stand there. How do I get off? <laughs> Well, I guess it's time to stop the USO show and uh, uh, get back to battle, I guess. Or, or not. I will say, it's only been like a few minutes into the movie, but they do a really good job of making you really like the general.
Oh my, the battle is definitely in their camp now. Oh yeah, anytime, any place. You, you just pick up a phone, huh? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. So long, Davis. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> uh, a little, little uh, uh, hurt humor there. He's a uh, pretty funny in living rooms. Kind of has a fair voice, you know. And I, uh, how about me? <laughs> I knew, I knew he was kind of leading up to the. How about me? <laughs> That's all right, Captain. I, I wouldn't want you to feel any. Special obligation in any way. I... Oh, well. Yeah, I don't want you to feel anything. Like, I, I only saved your life, you know. <laughs> well, this is escalating quicker than I thought. Oh, now they're gonna produce. <laughs> He's still playing the, like, I saved your life card and I got hurt. Hey, I know this song. About to turn this down. This is a great big fat plug for the show. Yo, yo. Bring the tickets when they come. Yeah. Heading to the flight of my life. Oh, Bob. Okay, so we're finally going to get to New York, which I uh, thought is where the show took place. <laughs> Excuse me one minute, will you? Can't you? <laughs> Good. Yeah, let's face it, Bob. You're a lonely, miserable man. What? And you're unhappy, too. And when you're unhappy, I'm unhappy. I love those fancy trunks. You don't really see those uh, uh, at all these days. No, I won't. Well, why not? Because you're a miserable, lonely, unhappy man. Oh, you're wacky. I'm a very happy man. What no, you're, you're miserable. <laughs> When what's left of you gets around to what's left to be gotten, what's left to be gotten won't be worth getting whatever it is you've got left. I figure out what that means. Well, <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that, that was some wordplay there. From that day on, I haven't had one minute I could call my own. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to get married. I want you to have nine children. And if you only spend... Nine children, that's a little extreme. Car 207. Oh, thanks. Now, I'll grab those, will you, sir? Here. We'll go right over to the station from Novellas. Obviously, the plot dictates while they're at the work, they're going to meet, you know, a nice girl that fits his description. <laughs> reason why we should spend our last two hours in Florida looking at the sisters of Freckle-Faced Haynes, the dog-faced boy. Let's just say we're doing it for a palace. Wow, this movie's kind of not nice to some people. Jeez. Uh, Jeff, we'll be on in about 15 minutes. Uh, tell them we're here, will you? Certainly, Mr. <laughs> Wallach. Uh, Luigi, show these gentlemen to their table. I will say there's something about old school film and uh, you know the Technicolor and just the, the the way the color looks on the screen. It's completely different from today's digital cinema, uh, and I don't know. I I just love it. Benny's got a job in Alaska. He's been out of the country for three months. Oh. Huh? <laughs> could have written from Alaska, but he didn't, did he? You can see the dichotomy of where uh, the one in the red is very much like Wallace and is probably going to be paired up with him, and the one in the white is very much like Davis and will likely be paired up with him. <laughs> You'd be crazy about you. Which one? What does it matter? They're both famous. I recognize this song too. I, f I feel like I've heard these songs before, but I just have never watched this movie. <laughs> that, that, that little look between them just like, yeah, we don't really act as one. <laughs> Oh, Wallace is starting to smile a bit. He's enjoying the act. Hey, how about those big brown eyes? Oh, they're blue. Ah, uh, see, I knew it. I knew they were looking at the ones that I, I called it. I called it. Oh, yeah, deep blue. <laughs> Remarkable it was that Benny Haynes' sister should have eyes. I, I mean, blue eyes. <laughs> that is eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's uh, a little a little fluff, plum flabbergasted uh, with their beauty. It's a family characteristic. Uh, I have a recent snapshot here. Oh. He doesn't look that bad. They're saying he looks. He's like 
He looks, he's actually super kind of good looking. I mean, I don't know. Uh, the children's teeth? Uh, are you interested in families or children or things like that? He's trying to play it like, hey, are you interested in having a family? Because uh, my boy here, you know, he wants to settle down. <laughs> uh, but would you care to dance? Well, don't you uh, think we uh, should discuss? Well, let's say it with music, huh? <laughs> My boy play playing the the uh uh wingman. Love it. I love it. I don't like your whole inference. I got no squawks, no beefs. The kid played a percentage, it worked and we're here. Let's not make a whole big mishmash out of it, huh? Oh, did I the uh, the 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 uh plant was blocking. I thought I saw her, um, him touch her hand. All I'm saying is when you've been around show business as long as I have, you just get used to people working angles. That's all. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, he, there goes the hand on the hand. Snow. Yeah. You know something? What? I like the little characteristic where he, whenever he gets nervous, his voice kind of cracks. Yes, because back in the old days, when you would leave the dance, you would go outside to dance, just the two of you, and sing. <laughs> Is she looking at the camera? That's not. Don't look at the camera. I'm loving all this partner dancing, though. It's really nice. And you actually finally get to see his dancing ability because previously he was kind of playing the goofball to Wallace, so his dancing was a little off kilter. Good use of uh, the uh, scenery and everything to incorporate it with the dance instead of having it just be there. I like that. I also love how they're just literally just staying on this one shot and not cutting. And you can see that they are doing all of the moves. There's no cuts. They're not like cutting to a different shot that they did where they weren't screwing up. It's just all one take and it's uh, so good. Yay. It's making me sweat from watching them dance. But you might get yourself in an awful jam. Why should you? I mean, well, what's in it for you? 45 minutes all to myself. <laughs> Yes, yes, he's thinking of the future. Love it. We can't take your tickets. What did Mr. Wallace think? Well, honey, it was his idea. Now, would you please get going? His idea? Yeah. Yeah, it was his idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, Shell, if I haven't got the whole night to wake here while you eat free food. Oh, are they gonna, are they gonna, uh, pretend to be the girls? The Haynes sisters. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> it's amazing how much of their routine they remembered of the two of them. Obviously, they're doing a little ad living, but. Ah, uh, see, Wallace is enjoying it. He's enjoying it. Tickets for tickets. Uh, oh, tickets. Dockets, yes. Yeah. The tickets that you gave to the girls. <laughs> there you are. Where are you going? Yeah. For breakfast. Breakfast. Get some peanuts. <laughs> breakfast, you have no money, and I just paid for the tickets. <laughs> With two nice, warm, soft, comfortable beds where at this very moment two block. Oh, so he did see them. <laughs> you wouldn't do this to old Bob, would you? Whatever are you talking about? <laughs> Mr. Davis told us you insisted on giving us the tickets, and it, well, it was just wonderful of you. Yeah, make it his idea, and then he can't say it wasn't his idea. Where? The Columbia Inn, Pine Tree, Vermont. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Well, could you come up for a couple of days? 
Well, I, I don't know. It... I wish you could. It'd be awfully nice. Oh, she asked him to go. What are you going to say? If you're ever under a falling building and somebody runs up and offers to pick you up and carry you to safety, don't think, don't pause, don't hesitate a moment. Just spit in his eye. <laughs> Snow, I wanna wash my hands. Dude, that transition into song was a little weird for my taste. That song was cute, but it was definitely more of a filler song. Let's go visit the fire. <laughs> oh, there, there's that moment where they're like, oh, oh, oh. Real slow mover. Honey, I got a flash right back for you. She's in there with the champ. <laughs> oh, they must have grass covered igloos up there. <laughs> Here, honey. Let me help you. Oh. oh, they got to Vermont and there's no white Christmas. How's it gonna snow? I know that actress. What? Uh, what, what have you seen? What have I seen her in? Why can't I remember? Her. Oh, my friend and I guess we came up for the snow. <laughs> Where are you keeping it? Well, we take it in during the day. I think I recognize her. She's one of the nuns from from uh, da, 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 um, the Sister Act. Although that's much further <laughs> in her career, probably. General Waverly, sir, at ease. Wow, didn't expect to see him again. I was. Private Davis, sir. At ease, Davis. <laughs> no, but if there was one thing I learned in the Army, it was to be positive. Especially when you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> a little dig of the guys. Savings, everything in remodeling this place. Used to be a grist mill and a barn. Now it's a Tyrolean haunted house. <laughs> like, uh, like Wallace and Davis. No, honey, you couldn't get them. They're too big. Wait a minute, Wallace and Davis. <laughs> the, the way the way he just offhandedly was like ah oh, they're too big like he he wasn't even davis that was oh i love it i love it <laughs> what's this uh, what's this gonna set us back oh how, how much is wow <laughs> I'm with the haynes sisters how much is wow it's right in between uh, between ouch and poing wow oh from right behind i'm gonna use that i'm gonna use that oh. Like any decent self-respecting housekeeper, I listened in on the other phone. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> Assault. <laughs> wow. Hey, let's get holy or so. Yeah, Wallace, you, you can't you can't kiss her. You gotta kiss the Haynes sister that you're going after. Isn't it ideal? Absolutely ideal, didn't we? Ideal. We've established the fact the lodge is ideal. <laughs> oh, it'll come to you, sir. Just takes time. Sure, we wouldn't be any good as generals. You weren't any good as privates. Ooh, burn! Yeah, I imagine even back in those days, the amount of money it would take to like build that set, bring all the lights in, and everything just uh, would be very expensive. If that's actually happening in the barn, that's a huge barn. <laughs> Especially like tall enough to like have a uh, fly system to bring all that stuff up. That's a little morbid. Oh my. I'm a little sad that all the girls in the background are just kind of like <laughs> doing the, the, the shake with the tambourines. I want them to be part of the dance. Okay, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yay! Wonderful. This will 
in business. That yet. is, uh, that takes a lot of talent. Uh, isn't that better? Yes, I can see that's better. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> he's, uh, he's starting to be a little bit, uh, forward there. That's, uh, new for him. Love running the brisk cliff. Hmm. Isn't this nice? Well, Glad you came. Better than a picnic. Oh, wow, they've got, like, a little circular fireplace there. That's, uh... I don't know if I've ever seen that in a hotel before. Counting my blessings. One of the things I love about old school musicals is uh, a lot of times you have like a good baritone role. Nowadays, it's a lot of like tenor, high tenor, contra tenor stuff, and, and you don't see a lot of good baritone roles anymore. Yay! Kiss it! They did it! They kissed! Yay! I was waiting for that. I want to tell you something I haven't even told the women folk. I'm going back in the army. Really? Oh, wow. I would like to read this by myself, but I'm a little anxious. Read it, son. Slowly. I have a bad feeling. Well, they can't use me. No place for me. We're not fooling each other. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna be the outcome. Television, Ed Harrison. I'm gonna go put a call into him now. Then I'll go on down to New York, and if I can swing it, I'll get on his show and make a pitch to the guys myself. Yeah, because weren't you supposed to be on the Ed Harris show, like, as soon as you got to New York? <laughs> this is certainly different than the other things I've seen so far. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that little hand a little higher. <laughs> Ooh, are we going to get the tap number now? I love how it's kind of like dance, as they were saying at the beginning, versus choreography. So you've got, you know, um, the traditional uh, non-choreography uh, stuff where it's literally interpreted movement and all that stuff. And then you got modern day uh, choreography that's inside of like singing and, and stuff. So I think that's really cool. And then it's, it's kind of combining the two. Yeah, she's gonna think that uh, something else is up. Anything specific? Did you know the boys are planning to put this whole show on television? Television? Right. From no, they're not. You. Mm, this is what comes from listening in on people's telephone calls and not confronting them personally. Well, if I am, I'll resign as president of the New England chapter of Busybodies Anonymous. Oh dear, Well, guess it's time for you to resign. Brilliant. Listen, uh, keep this under your hat, will you? We wouldn't want the general to know about it because it's... Uh... I can understand that. Betty, that was... Ah, uh, no, the, the, the miscommunication. No, no. Now, you gonna sing the song or not? I don't want to sing the song. Well, nobody's twisting your arm, you know. Is that all, Mr. Wallace? Yes, that's all, Miss Haynes. And this comes from people assuming things and not talking to them about it and... Drama, drama, drama. Uh, it's all gonna work out in the end, I assume, but just kind of frustrating. Oh, no, no, no. I mean a mature man, you know, one with talent and experience. Ooh, talent, experience. One that's witty, witty gay, gay, charming. charming. Come on, come on. This, she's just talking about you, buddy. Uh, sh sure I do. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly repulsive. Of course, <clears throat> of course not. <laughs> and see, here I thought he was all about her, and uh, yeah, did not, did not see this coming. Well, okay, it's a deal. But don't you think we ought to... <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, sir. Ah, the switcheroo-ness. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yes, you do not get to dance with her. And they're back to their corners to sulk. Uh, I don't know whether the best
just things happen while you're dancing or whether they uh, <laughs> just happen in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> oh. Well, don't just stand there. Aren't you going to kiss the bride? Uh, kiss the. Oh, oh yes, sir. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah, there. All right, go after. Communication. And a lot of these dance numbers are just so big and crazy, just with the movements and, and everything. Oh, they're really staying on the shot so you can read the whole thing. But I'm going to New York to try and square it with Betty. You ought to consider yourself plenty lucky. You might have been stuck with this weirds mobile for life. <laughs> oh no! And she's she she's kind of upset because she kind of wanted to be with him. Hopefully, they come together too. I'm hoping for that. That's a very pretty fancy outfit. Oh my. <laughs> that young man looks very familiar. He almost looks like uh the guy who plays uh, the head not shark but uh in in West Side Story. No yeah, the head shark. Yeah. Yay! Good job. By the way, we're in love with each other. Ridiculous. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Mm hmm. Can I see you later tonight, Mary? I'm sorry, I have a date. What about tomorrow? No, I'll be busy all day. Come on, will you? Well, it's still a lot of miscommunication because it's not, it's still sounding like he's got all the stuff for the, sh the recording of the show. It's uh, not that. Susan, call a doctor. Oh, please don't do that, sir. It's probably just a small internal muscular hemorrhage, sir. <laughs> okay, small internal muscular hemorrhage. That doesn't sound bad at all. It's about someone who's very close to all of us. And he's going to tell you about it in his own special way. Bob? Thanks, Daddy. Ooh, are we going to get a song? Good job. Gonna get along, no one Hey, she's watching it. Yay. Hopefully she comes to the realization of what it was for. Chance to give the nicest Christmas gift he'll ever get to the nicest guy we'll ever know. Remember then, your objective is pie. Yeah, realization. <laughs> that is a lot of uh, troopers coming in. Why can't you wear your uniform? Yes. I won't appear in uniform. Please, Grant. Absolutely. Ah, I see. I got along very well in the army without you. It took 15,000 men to take my place. <laughs> Grandpa. You look Where are her parents? I knew this was coming, but it's still kind of making me tear up a bit. Oh, there I go. They even uh, made a set that looks like the war zone. <sighs> okay, time to stop crying. <laughs> Got that big giant cake in front of you. How are you going to see the stage? <laughs> She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of funny. Ah, it's snowing. There you go. I knew it was gonna happen. Okay, now turn around. We're gonna go on. Keep your eyes straight line and watch your space. Don't, don't get too far apart. Oh, what'd she get him? Those are some very pretty and probably expensive costumes for Santa and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> All right, what, what is it? He's gonna go off in the corner and open it. <laughs> yes, it's a white night. Get some loot. We've got to take the show to Chicago. Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I can't make it. Huh? I'm gonna be very busy. I, wait a minute, I'll join you. Yay, there we go. I knew he'd come around. I just noticed that each of them has nine kids surrounding them, like he was talking about them having nine kids. That's funny. Yay. All right, that was White Christmas. Uh, I obviously had no idea what the plot was or anything. I thought I knew what was gonna happen going in, but I think I was probably thinking about another old school musical. So, uh, yeah, that, that was very, very beautiful. I loved a lot of it. Some of the songs, a little unforgettable. Um, I loved the two characters of Wallace and uh, Davis, though the, their chemistry was really, really good, and, and the chemistry with the, the Haynes sisters and everything, and the, their performances was all very good. The choreography was amazing. Uh, you know, just uh, lots to love about this musical, and I was not expecting to cry at the end, but uh, that whole military scene it's making me tear up again just thinking about it, but yeah. Uh, uh, let me know what you guys enjoyed about the movie in the comments down below. Is this one of your uh, favorite movies to watch during Christmas? Is there something else? Me personally, uh, I'm a big <laughs> Jingle All The Way fan, so that's kind of one that I watch that and like Die Hard. So let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite Christmas movie to watch? And uh, uh, what did you think of this movie? Really, really would love to interact and know what you guys thought of in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas. And we will see you next year with some more reactions. Thank you for watching.